I actually enjoyed Kingdom Hearts 3. Was it nearly as good as Kingdom Hearts 2? Absolutely not. But it was still fun. It was a fun experience. All right, so good enough summary of Kingdom Hearts 3. This video is brought to you in part by me, because I made this. Welcome oh, to a this. good enough summary of Kingdom Hearts 3. Wonderful. You might be here because you just can't be bothered to... Am I going crazy or is this dude naked? He's just naked. You know what? Respect. Respect. Got, got to keep up with the, with the meta, especially on Twitch. Play Kingdom Hearts 3, or maybe it's the year 2082 and you're looking for a refresher before Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out. Hi kids, it's me, your grand pep pep Don't in the past. Say that. If Don't you're say confused that. and lost, uh, well, well I mean we all are, but you well, should King probably watch my sooner. other video first, covering everything up to this point. <coughs> Alright, oh. then let's do this. Uh, <laughs> well if he's just wearing a skin suit, not, not even a, uh, a skin colored suit, just a skin suit. Like the bug dude from Men in Black is his Edgar suit. The movie rules, man. Yeah, the sensor bar meta. He, he's he's skipping the sensor bar. He's like, I don't even need that. I'm just just pure skin and flesh. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts three. Last we saw Sora, he was getting told by Yen mm -hmm. Sid to get good. His main yeah. task is to relearn the power of waking, which will yep. allow him to help those jumbled up hearts inside of him in Unjelly's Jam once <laughs> and for all. I guess that's technically what he did with Kairi's heart back in Kingdom Hearts 1, but with the power yep. of waking, he shouldn't have to poke his soft underbelly and turn into a bug. Yen Sid gives everybody who Ah, man, to be fair, the heartless aren't bugs. They just have antenna and they look like bugs, but they're not bugs. I, I love uh I love this this is freaking goofy and Donald they look great. Matters new clothing and sends them off. Oh, yeah. also be on the lookout for Keyblade wielders. We need like two more to get to seven. He says. Sora, Donald, and Goofy fly through a bunch of completely arbitrary Disney worlds that once again do not matter in the slightest. And but Sora learns absolutely nothing about the power of wake. I always forget that there's a Monsters Inc. world. Honestly, that was probably the most forgettable world. Sadly. And I love, if you guys don't know already, there's like that meme. Uh, it's not even the meme, it's just is how it is. But like Mike Wazowski's face is always covered on like any merchandise for Monsters, Inc. I love that he kept that here, even when I'm covered by the, by the hair. And it looks like bugs sounds like, they don't sound like bugs, though. Jack Sparrow is actually a bunch of crabs <laughs> in a do. trench coat. And Rex from Toy Story is obsessed with this hot new video game you wish you were playing instead called Verum Rex. Yeah, and you know what? Spoiler alert, the DLC, I kicked his ass. It took me so long, but I beat him. One of my greatest crowning achievements in games, because that fight was very hard. Wait, is Continue. he obsessed with it because he thinks it's about him? Oh, and you can make Olaf. <laughs> also, Maleficent Smoked and Pete off. are back, and they're looking for a box. Yeah, they're, they're they don't find it. Pet a pet. Along the way, we're reintroduced to the real Organization 13 and learn who the rest of the members mm -hmm. are. Disappointingly, they're all characters we already know. Boo. In addition to the Norts we saw in Dream Drop Distance, there's Larxene, Marluxia, Luxord, Vexen, and Demix. But now they all have yellow eyes, yo! -oh. Also joining the gang is Vanitas from Birth by Sleep and Dark Riku, a time-traveling yep. replica Riku from Chain of Memories. This is- are, are you guys keeping up so far? Like, are you good? Like, this is all common lore for Kingdom Hearts. Like, this is stuff you gotta just know. That's, you know, it's not that crazy. He, he called Olaf Swolof. He did. It was great. I haven't done, uh, oh, actually, I haven't done the latest dungeon. No, I didn't do the, uh, the deep dungeon yet. No. If it's Monsters Inc., I gotta get in there. It's not Riku, that's Emmett Selk. Listen, 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 listen. Emmett Selk is a lot more handsome than Dark Riku. So, just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Emmett Selk is a very handsome man is a different Riku than the replica Riku it, we met in Castle Oblivion, and yeah, we know this different. because yeah. that replica Riku is hanging out inside of the original Riku, like a yep. teenager loitering outside of 7-Eleven. There's also a hand-wavy yep. explanation as to why Ansem and Xemnas blowing up revived old man Xehanort <laughs> instead of Terranort, but don't worry about it because Terranort is back <laughs> too, and there's even another hooded figure we'll get yeah. to later. This is way more than 13? There's too much. But there's only thir- One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Shit. There are more than thirteen. Damn. I was gonna defend Kingdom Hearts 3 and then they're like, 
Organization 13, we have like 22 members. Too many hooded figures in this game. Some of the other former members of Organization Amazing. 13 decided to be good and stay as somebodies. They hang out back at Ansel yeah. the Wise's place and dig through his stuff and find his naughty magazines. They text Sora old mm -hmm. memes sometimes. Mm -hmm. the, the yeah, you have a cell phone in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have a gummy phone in Kingdom Hearts 3. And it is glorious. It's amazing. Because there's a lot of time... Exactly, CD. There's time travel, there's paradoxes. <laughs> le me, le nort, norted. Th Heck you, art. The somebodies figure out what we learned like three games ago. That Sora has all these hearts jam, jellying dog. up his jam. Sora's like, I don't know if any of them even technically count as people, but we gotta help them out. He sets out to free Roxas because ew, girls are icky. Egg. But he runs into a problem. For one, Roxas doesn't have a body anymore. Yeah. And for two, Sora doesn't know how to release Roxas' heart. Wait, it's hold a, up. It's easy when do nobodies have hearts? I thought the whole point was that they're a shell without a heart. You know what? I have no more fight left in me. It's fine. Prong is hooded, this plot is convoluted. Rocks just just stop asking questions at this point. Just just don't. It's better to just turn your brain off. There are nobodies and there are somebodies and there are heartlesses and Oh my god, dude, day, I forgot all about I forgot all about Donald being like, you have to look for some ingredient. I can't do a Donald Duck voice, I'm sorry, that sounds horrible. But yeah, he's always looking for ingredients. Roxas' always. friends show up and are like, Hey, we don't remember Roxas because we were only friends with him inside a computer. And Sora's like, Oh yeah, there should be a copy of his heart in the computer. But they don't know Ansem's password. Beep, boop, sad toot. Meanwhile, Riku and Mickey are so bad at rescuing Aqua that she turns into anti-Aqua. Which- Alright, 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 alright. To be fair, anti-Aqua is very hot. Just, I'm just saying. I felt very bad when we had to fight her and turn her good. Now we can continue. Just heartless doesn't mean that it's heartful. Heartful is just being a normal person, Naz. Because people have the biggest hearts of them all and they're full of love and friendship. The Kingdom Hearts way. Which is actually fine because I mean she's rocking it. Mickey goes, Bro, 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 my dude, my dude, he gets it, he gets it, he gets it. Respect, respect, respect. What happened? And she's like, I was trapped here for 10 years and turned evil and got this sweet outfit. What took yeah. you so long? And Riku's like, I couldn't find my big car. My bad, lol. <laughs> Sora pops out of a portal and helps his boyfriend Riku beat up Darkwa with the power of the Gay Blade TM. They unlock Aqua's face so hard she turns good again. Why? They Sounds zip right. over to Castle yeah. Oblivion and Aqua turns it back into the land of departure and they mm -hmm. find Sleepy Ventus right where she left him having a big old nap. Sora yeah. tries to use the power of waking, but Vanitas pops up and attacks Aqua. He's like, hey, hey. and she's like, oh no. Suddenly, Sora learns the actual power of waking mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. you know, they had an opportunity to make the Disney worlds relevant, but no, you know what? Now is fine. This'll do. Ventus's heart poots out of Sora and into Ventus, and Ventus wakes up. He jumps in front of Vanitas and goes, remember me? And Vanitas goes, oh, that's cute because that's what I said in Birth by Sleep when and I- And Ventus pops him on the noggin. Ow. Did you too? Elsewhere, Vexen grabs Demix and is like, <laughs> oh, I forgot Xehanort isn't even a real goth. Let's bounce. What do you mean? You willingly came back and let yourself get norted. Uh, I'm a double agent. I'm working for Ansem the Wise. Let's go. And on their way out, they steal an empty replica body for Roxas. For later. Oh, and Ansem the Wise is totally fine and wandering about in the background, but he barely does anything, so don't worry about him. Back at... I forgot about a lot of this, and my brain is starting to hurt. Like, really starting to hurt. <laughs> Yen Sid's place, the seven guardians of light are finally assembled. I love this Sora, game. Riku, Mickey, yeah. Aqua, and Ventus are joined by Kyrie and Lee, who spent 10 hyperbolic time chamber minutes in Merlin's moon bounce, so they're totally trained and up mm -hmm. to the task. Mm hmm. Yen Sid. Alright, to be fair, though, the, the like worst thing about Kingdom Hearts 3 is they didn't give Kyrie a chance to kick somebody's ass, and I was so disappointed. Sid goes, Son of a Disney, is this really the best we have? Okay, y'all ready to fight Xehanort? Wait, Mr. Dorky. Yen Sid, says Goofy. Mm -hmm. If the Seven and the Thirteen fight each other, then that'll summon the Keyblade, right? Yes, what's your point? So if we don't fight them, then Xehanort can never win. Wow, Goofy, you're as smart as you are handsome. <laughs> but if we refuse to fight, Xehanort will just use the Seven Princesses of Heart instead. 
Jasmine! Turnips! Cries Sora. I won't Turnips stand indeed. by and let Nordy Nort hurt Jasmine and Belle and Snow White and- No, actually, we're done with those princesses. It's all about Frozen and Tangled now. But what happens- It's all about Tangled and Frozen! It may be, uh, Moana, eventually. Now go up here! A Moana world would be kind of cool, though, man. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. But, dude, I feel you. Like, I remember the most random-ass information, but I can't remember, like, simple things sometimes. These are shareholders and fight that Xehanort! So the Seven Guardians of Light and Donald mm -hmm. and Goofy take yeah. the battle bus to the Keyblade Graveyard. True. They battle against Facts. the trillion billion Heartless, and Sora mm -hmm. defeats them with a choo-choo train. Choo -choo. But then yeah. Terra Nort shows up and kills okay. everybody. Oopsie poopsie. Sora legitimately that's what happened like everybody just straight up gets murdered hey you pocket breaking what's up buddy yo muppets in kingdom hearts would be amazing you know what upsets me though like kingdom hearts 3 had no final fantasy characters like one of my crowning achievements in the earlier kingdom hearts games was to fight and defeat sephiroth cool at least they brought a song back in um in the game with uh kingdom hearts 3 didn't have Aerith. Wait. Oh, that's right in the in the uh, in the DLC. I forgot they did come in the DLC. Fuck bacon. Good, good, good point. Good point. Good point. They did come back in the DLC, which was lame because they can only put them in the DLC. I I had to question that, dude, because you said that, and I'm like, wait a tick. All right, back Cora to fun. Cora wakes up dead in the final world and puts his soul back together by running through an Escher painting mm -hmm. and high fiving himself a lot. He brings everyone Pretty back much, to yeah. life and they fight another wave of a trillion billion heartless. But this mm -hmm. time they summon the power of Union Cross and surf on a wave of keyblades and the ghost of this guy without pointy anime hair winks at Sora. See? I called it. Yen Sid, tired of everyone's incompetence, blasts down from orbit and makes a path through the Heartless. Moses, Moses, I'm doing a Moses! He yells. Finally, hey, after countless games and years upon years of waiting, we have our seven and our thirteen face off against mm -hmm, each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's all tense and quiet, and a yeah. tumbleweed rolls past. But yeah. Xehanort goes, Lol, nope, poof, here's a maze. Sora works his way through Xehanort's last minute corn maze of cheap suspense and takes out the some organization members. Of, he helps turn suck. Terra Nort back into Terra and Replica yep. Riku kills Dark Riku while Riku watches. And Sora yep. goes, check please. The final hooded member is revealed to be Xion and she's <gasps> evil again. Oh, but no. off screen, Ansem the Wise was able to log into his computer after finding his password underneath the keyboard and put Roxas' uh, digi heart into the replica body. Mm -hmm. And so Roxas, Roxas enters the fight. She All right, to be real though, like when Roxas showed up, that shit was fucking bad ass. Like I teared up. I teared up. Now my first playthrough this was before the days of me actually, you know, streaming games and stuff. I teared up. That hit me. That hit me. Hit me right here. Sheon goes, wait, nope, I got my heart back from Sora. Thanks, Sora, I'm good again. And he's like, when did that happen? Whoa! All the while, each Sora just fight is bringing Xehanort one shard closer to the Keyblade. Kairi, for the first time ever, is about to do a thing! But before she can, she gets kidnapped. Oh. Yep. I was so bothered by that. And yeah, Disney definitely forced all their stuff in there for just the main plot, and it sucks. I was very disappointed that there wasn't more... Final Fantasy stuff, at least in Kingdom Hearts 4, from like the end teaser and stuff at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, it seems like they're going with um more square stuff with, uh, was that The World Ends With You? Which I never played, but I really want to How one day. How convenient. Maybe next time, Kyrie. Maybe next time. Sora's like, heck, I'm not gonna fight and let you summon the Keyblade. I throw down my sword. But Xehanort goes, oh, yeah. this what if I do this? Psh, okay, sure. Threaten someone I don't even know. This is Kairi from Destiny Islands. Um, I think I know what Riku looks like. Pinty Girdered, your friend is now murdered. And he killed. My dude is, is a Riku and Sora shipper. I can get behind it. I approve. I approve. <laughs> I throw down my sword and attack this mission. Wait, I think I remember who she is now. No! In yeah, a frenzy, Sora defeats again. the yeah. last Norts, allowing Xehanort to summon the Keyblade. Try me this! Oh yeah, that was the thing I wasn't supposed to do. Whoops! He says. Yeah. Now I'll summon Sora's Kingdom Hearts and make it purple and dreamy. Oh, um, guys, if you didn't know, um, the, this Keyblade... Now I'll summon Kingdom Hearts. That Keyblade there is... 
it, it's it's this it's called the keyblade but it's not a keyblade like the others it, it's it's the symbol that's like an x that means key blade Hearts are making purple and drippy, says Xehanort. Duck Same. noises, says Donald. Fjok, says Goofy. Or at least he it's should have. Blade. Mickey, realizing he should probably do Dude, something kill a kill to crossover this game, Kingdom stops Hearts time and pulls Sora aside. Hey, so it turns out that most of the organization members you killed were traveling through time, which is why they were back even though you defeated them before. And Xehanort is the portal that lets them do that. That makes every amount of sense. Thank you, Mickey Senpai. Oh no, is that <laughs> a wave senpai. of heartless I see? Stops it. <laughs> so they dive into the portal that is Xehanort and wind up in Scala Ad Calum, the stairway to the sky, and prepare yeah. for their final, ultimate, you better believe it's gonna be epic, anime showdown. Sora Ozzy believes in himself, cool Xehanort showdown. turns into a goat, and the player yeah. mashes L2 a lot, trying to select the right... Damn it! <laughs> well, at least someone turned into a boat. At last, <laughs> Xehanort is defeated. Dern Grummet, my plan was awesome. Everyone was gonna be all like, Oh, Xehanort, you're so cool. But you're not so cool, old friend. Everyone gasps with astonishment because it's the ghost they of shot. Eric is present. Yeah, this is one detail I probably should have mentioned in the last video. When Ericus died in Birth by Sleep, his little soul particles got caught in Terra's hair, and he's been quietly hanging out inside of Terra this whole time. Xehanort goes, Heck, I guess you're right. I quit. Let's go get some sushi. Ericus and Xehanort hold hands and fly off into space, and there goes any chance we had a catharsis. Okay, cool, this is super underwhelming. Sora picks up the Keyblade and swarshes everything back to normal, and everyone's like, Hooray! Lee is chilling with Roxas and Xion. Aqua's hanging out with Ventus and Terra. None of whom have aged in 10 years, okay? And Sora goes- Don't, just don't, don't question it. Dude, just, just don't question it. Just don't. <laughs> and it is Luke Skywalker. Mark Hamill uh, voiced um, Master Ericus. It was great. It was amazing. Mr. Riku and is like, well, spit me out like the pit of a palpable fruit. I can't believe we all made it back in one piece. And Riku goes, you do remember Kairi died, right? Oh, yeah, but if I bring her heart back, I'll be lost forever. Where does it say that? It says right here in my dramatic endings for Dingus's book that mm -hmm. I ate for lunch. So Sora brings yeah, Kairi back sense. to life and fades away. Later, nerds. And just. All right, all right, all right. But again, again, for real, for real. For real, that scene at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, when Sora and Kairi are sitting together on the tree, and they're holding hands, and then Sora just disappears? That shit is sad. That shit is sad. Just then, Nominee walks over and starts breakdancing. Ow! Meanwhile, Pete and Maleficent she actually find the box they've been searching for this whole time. And it turns out to be the Master of dance. Masters box from Union Cross. Remember that one right there? Mm hmm. A hooded figure arrives yeah. and summons four of the five foretellers. They're like, Sup, Lushu, the other apprentice from Union Cross whose face we've never seen. You are right here in the lineup. Yep, that's you. Why have you portaled us here to the future? Mm -hmm. Also, we're missing Snake Girl or Rabbit Girl or whatever. And Lushu takes off their hood and reveals themselves to be Zigbar. Yeah, they just... apparently didn't die earlier. <laughs> and our Lushu. Uh -huh. Zig So I never played the Union Cross game because it was a mobile game for like flip phones. I I I don't know what the hell's going on here. Our, our Lushu is like, no whoops, idea. looks like Xehanort's out of the picture, and I'm the villain now. Honga's hands, the ride never ends, hee hee hee. And then Sora wakes up in Tokyo, and the guy from Verum Rex is there. Yes, the guy from the fictional yeah. game Rex was obsessed with. I do not know. Don't look at me. And that's it for Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> or is it? Might be. Most of Kingdom Hearts 3 took place in an alternate timeline dreamscape, and there's actually some semi-decent evidence to back that up? I don't know. No. No, do not say that. Do not say that Kingdom Hearts 3 took place in some kind of dreamscape. I swear to God. I swear to God. Better not. Better not be. <sighs> no, there's a link in the description to the theory, and it makes me mad that it's plausible. You can also click here and watch Gam read the theory to me while I work on this video that you're watching. Good night, everybody. See you in 15 years. Also, look, I got stickers now. Pointsnail.com. Bye. Oh. All right, all right, I have one complaint about this video. Just one. He never mentioned Donald Duck becoming the strongest magic caster in the whole Square Universe. My man did a Zeta Flare. Chef kiss.
Chef kiss. But I got, I, this is an amazing, amazing video. I, I love this dude's stuff. Like, I, there's a lot more videos that he has that I want to go watch. Um, just eventually will. But again, let me share this in chat. And then if you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the, in the description below. Go check it out. Go support him. He deserves it. Like, look at him. He, he needs the support. He needs to get clothes, obviously. Because, you know, he's, he's naked. <laughs>